like it just sticks with you, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know if maybe your art would maybe have that impact on people. That one seems to with the it's the 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 loads, you know the the phobia kind of thing. Do you have that? Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Lizzie One to One. Now today joining me is Tariq Evans. So thank you so much. You are a West Midlands based artist, yeah. aren't you? So first of all, like it's re- you are ridiculously <laughs> talented. Look at all of this in the backdrop. So for those that are new to you, um, how would you describe the art that you do and what, what materials do you actually use? Yeah. Um... Yeah, predominantly it's it's mostly just uh, acrylics and then spray painting. But uh, yeah, it's just cheap materials, man. You know what I mean? Like, it's just anything. I don't really get too precious with, like, what I use. Um, sure, I didn't know you spray painted. Yeah, it's an airbrush, yeah. So, That's like, amazing. Yeah, like the same stuff, you know. Oh, yeah, because we were having a conversation. Yeah, yeah. We were briefly having a conversation. <laughs> I might do a sneaky little, you know, shot for you lot tonight. But yeah, we are talking about that. Yeah, so yeah. how did you get your hands on one of them and do yeah. they price it? <laughs> right, like, I mean, kind of, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's like the only thing I'm, I'm sort of, I mean, even then it's knackered, but like, uh, yeah. It's like, still your baby. Yeah, it's your baby. For like, like <laughs> 10 years now. So it's got its, it's, got its use in. But yeah, like it was, um, cause I was kind of into like uh, 2000 AD comics as a kid. Yeah. Uh, so oddly enough, like, yeah, that sort of main form of medium was from like comic books as opposed to like, I didn't really see like a specific artist that I was obsessed with to use the same medium. I was gonna ask you that, I'd be like, you know, that generic question, did anyone influence you? There or? definitely are. There's two people who 100% did, but just that medium specifically, like yeah. I saw like, uh, yeah, I, j- I just saw this kind of effect and I'd just be like, how the hell are they getting that? And I'd just research the, you know, the the, the the illustrators and what they use. And I was like, I've got to get my hand on one of those. Another fascinating part of your art is that you actually, uh, your self portrait is in some of your pieces as well or do you try and put encapsulate yourself in a lot of them yeah it's it's it's, that- it's kind of like a weird one like it, i sort of like fluctuate like i think right now I'm, I'm, I'm kind of i almost like to turn myself into a bit of a mannequin uh so i get rid of things like hair and like normally uh like tattoos and stuff yeah. like that and eyebrows and facial hair and all that kind of stuff because I, I, I almost want to remove a little bit of the identity there but it's obviously my my face and it's my yeah. structure but i almost think that's mostly just because I'm, I'm kind of like shy with like talking to other people and getting like models to come in to like get you yeah. know I, it's, it's something I, I need to like do at some point but for now it's a lot easier to sort of work with myself in in some ways so but i think i think that's not it's nice hearing someone being open about that yeah. because even when i was talking to you about this is my first location i'd like to say yeah it's incredible being in a room where you've worked hard on all the pieces that you've created. And also this is part of, is it Art Asylum yeah, as yeah, well? Yeah. So how long have you been part of this group of people? Because it's a bit like, they, they describe it like a community, don't they? Of yeah, people. They, they really are. It's, yeah. it's a wonderful collective. Like I've I've known them since, uh, I, I want to say, I, f- I feel like I've been a part of them since like, uh, I went to like one of the first exhibitions, uh, which was during my third year. So I think that was a year now. Oh wow. Around about nearly a year or something like that but yeah um and you know it, it was really nice and i think i, I saw some of like so like, just, <laughs> I'm like so i keep getting <laughs> literally just hypnotized me every time i look into pretty intense, yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah. yeah like um i'm sort of like desensitized to it now i've just sort of like looked at it all day but uh yeah <laughs> that's a good one because yeah. you were talking about um i love watching a time lapse mm. of yourself and caitlin's and is it ewan's as well yeah, yeah, yeah all of theirs yeah. but um so you were talking about how it actually affects your your whole process so how does it how does it have that different effect on you it's like um i'm i'm more aware of myself i guess which is kind of what i don't like because normally when i'm i don't know if it's it's maybe cliche but it's it's (laughs) almost like you're kind of in a little bit of a trance sort of like i'm not focused on anything around me i'm just working uh, but when you have like some sort of like camera in the background and you know you're being recorded, you're, you're like, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but you know what I mean? You become like more aware of things and, uh, no, it's true. It's true. Yeah. 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 Lady. Yeah. It's like a, it's like this massive like elephant in the room. You think behavior wise, even you, be- you yeah. become aware of your behavior. Yeah. Like it's really funny. Cause like I've seen like people have come in and like watch me work and they pick up on things that mm-hmm. I do that I don't notice. So like, uh, I remember my, my, my brother would like watch me paint one time when I was like younger and he noticed that I used to like 
work on something and then like pace back and forth and like stare <laughs> at it. And I would just be pacing for like 10 minutes, you know, just looking at it. And yeah. it, I just looked insane basically <laughs> and then just back on it. Um, but like little things like that, I, I, I focus on sort of not doing, I guess, when, when I'm in like a time lapse, cause I just, I'm concerned yeah. of it looking strange. You know what I mean? Especially when it's all <laughs> sped up, just like this flash going back. Okay, I'm the flash. Yeah. I'm the flash. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I do sort of behave a bit like differently and it, it feels a bit more like uh, kind of restrictive. Like I enjoy yeah. doing it because I do think it's, it's. it's I mean, I, I like seeing time lapses mm -hmm. from other people's work. So yeah, they're great. <laughs> I, I, think, so. I feel like we're living in a, a world now where I, a lot of the younger generation want things quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel yeah. like people enjoy the time lapse even more because yeah. it's, oh, it's fast paced. It's done. Mm. Even though it takes you about how many, how many hours would yeah, you say? Yeah, it's like, you know, so you get like one that's like 20 seconds and then it's like about an hour that's been put into it or something like that. Or <laughs> You're half talking an about an eye actually, an eye. Yeah, like an eyelid, <laughs> yeah. Took, was it, was that just due to, um, does it depend on the piece really? How long it takes? Uh, it can do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, it, what about if you're enjoying it? Like, do you enjoy all your pieces or do you sometimes get a bit? It's, it's really strange. Like, it's like, I, I think I go through periods, like I, I start off, I always start my work hating it. <laughs> and then the more I work on it, I get to like this sort of weird area where I'm happy with it. So yeah. it always starts bad. And then it sort of goes good towards the end, which so is, I'd rather that to be fair. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like then enjoying it and just thinking, oh, I fucked it, I ruined it. You know what I mean? Like, I've yeah. definitely messed that up fucking hell. But yeah, so yeah. it's- it's. Do you know these pieces then? Do you have, do you actually have any specific names for each piece that you've created? Not really. Like uh, I, 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 I'm, t I'm just terrible with titling stuff. And like <laughs> in, in some ways, like I, I kind of, um, I'm always worried about like, sort of taking myself a bit too seriously with them because mm -hmm. they're quite serious sort of imagery. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, it, that's just me, I guess, but like, yeah, it, it's, it's almost like as well, like you kind of give a thing an identity when you name it, you know, and then it implies all sorts. So if I name something and someone looks at it, they're going to be sort of taking that into account and it might sort of affect how they see the work anyway. Like um, one of my favorite like artists, uh, is uh, Bekczynski, I believe. Yeah to pronounce his name but uh <laughs> he's he's very good and he you know he, he was uh he was an amazing artist but he never like titled any of his work and he didn't even like talking about it that much either um and you know he, he was he was kind of almost like an anti-artist kind of thing yeah. and uh it was interesting because yeah he, he he just it was purely just what he painted was what it was and you know interpretation was imposed by others and that was it you know what i mean so the yeah. relationship was very forward with uh you know who was viewing the work yeah. so when you look at your work as well, you can see that there's a deeper meaning within it because as soon as I looked at it and you, you don't really shy away from the taboo subject of mental health. I mean, I don't know about conversation wise, you can shy <laughs> away from it, but through your artwork, you can, you can see that it, it, it has that within it. So it, every piece tells a different story, but where did that, where did that come from? That idea where you thought I actually want to put this onto yeah. it, within my, art, my artwork. Um I'm, I'm glad you see that, I guess, as well. Yeah. It's always kind of, you know, yeah, it, it's sort of like, uh, I, I think for me, it's more like, um, I just knew that, like, I'm not very good at confronting sort of things very well. I can be yeah. quite self-destructive and I can not say nice things about myself sometimes. Mm -hmm. So like painting was a really good way as sort of a means to translate thought in like a healthy kind of way. Um, so if I, you know, was having like an off day, it's not like necessarily yeah. I'd go in with the idea of I'm going to paint some messed up stuff. It's just more, it was sort of the circumstances of it. Yeah. And that was it, you know what I mean? What, what have people's <laughs> reactions been to your work? You know, when you've done exhibitions, yeah. like, um, have you watched there any, any people's reactions? Well, yeah, what's it been? yeah it's, it, you know, normally it's quite nice, like the feedback and, you know, occasionally, you know, sometimes people like talk to me about you know other experiences or sometimes like, it feels like other people like know the work better than I do in some ways. Like I almost like <laughs> their answer to it yeah, or response to it. Cause half the time, like I don't even know what I'm doing. A lot of it, it's just more like, it's like lucid. It's just ongoing. And then I end up with something in the end. Um, so it is nice to sort of hear other people's yeah. kind of perspectives and feedbacks normally actually really fucking good. <laughs> like it's really nice. Cause would you say it's surrealism then? So it's more, it's part of what's going on in the world. Cause let's be honest, everyone gets touched by mental health in their own individual way, whether it's um, someone that you know, or you're going for it yourself. I mean, the whole COVID mm. pandemic, that's had a huge effect on people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because you've been isolating yourself. And obviously if you hate the whole of humanity, 
I mean, you've kind of been practicing for it. Let's be <laughs> but I just thought, but has that had an impact on your artwork or your process since the whole pandemic's been happening? Uh, I I don't know. I think that's the thing. I'm not entirely sure yet because it's it's kind of it's still a very new things in some ways, and things keep changing a yeah. lot of the time. Laws keep getting regulated. You know, we're finding out new things every single day, yeah. and it's it's a ball of cakes. Just you know, listening to the Tories talk. You know what I mean? And it, it's it's <laughs> that's true. So you know, yeah. it kind of like it. It's it's strange. So I've never really actually reflected on it too much, mm -hmm. uh, but I think possibly. Like I do think in some ways, like I've been uh, obviously frustrated with you know things being cancelled and yeah. galleries being closing down, not having sort of the space that you know I used to be able to have. You I mean, know, that's a big thing How, because. I think the art, the whole art industry has been affected the most due to the COVID situation because people can't come in. It's only till now mm. people have been allowed to start having obviously certain group gatherings, but mm. obviously at a distance. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. even this, I can't be too close, right, yeah, yeah, close yeah, to you yeah. because, you know, I don't want to find. <laughs> okay. No, it was recorded before the pandemic. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. Um, just the Bilson deniability. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, just, it's interesting hearing you say that because I, I have thought, and obviously I'm not part of that world, but even just having the exhibitions on, do you miss having yeah. exhibitions? Yeah, I absolutely do. It's, it's like, it was like a ritual for me like before, like, you know, every other Friday, just going to Asylum, like making a commute in because I used to live in Birmingham. Yeah. And um, just sort of being in that kind of environment where you're, you're chatting, you're drinking, you're talking about yeah. whatever, all sorts of nonsense. And, you know, you're just looking at cool work. Sometimes you like it, sometimes you're yeah. a bit confused and you get it. <laughs> doesn't matter. It's just the, it's just, yeah, the, the sort of ritual of it was really fucking good at the time for me. But, you know, other people, it's, it's like, you know, it might not have affected them the same way. It's all yeah. kind of, I think that's one thing I figured from this, like, uh, COVID situations because I think you hear a lot of people say like oh we're all in the same boat we're all in the same boat we're all going through this together we're all suffering and it, not really man no. like I'm, I'm handling it a certain way there are people who are going to be handling it you know terribly and yeah. then there are going to be people who are thriving making money off of us you know what I mean? a and lot of people you, are making you know, money off of us it's like uh, yeah. it's, it's sort of one of those scenarios so not to be like too individualistic about it but I do think it's one of those things where like yeah, I, I am trying to sort of be aware of the fact that, you know, it's it's very much a personal thing for yeah. a lot of people. And you gotta kind of adapt on your own, your own sort of way and just try and figure it out, I guess. And you don't wanna be like, was it angry angry bald man? That little yeah, that little it. head. You don't wanna be, be, be an angry bald man, that's it. I think that's one of my favourite yeah. Instagram posts to say, but, but I love that. I was like literally scrolling through and I was like, amazing. <laughs> but um but yeah is this have you looked at your work now and had time to see how you've evolved because i think i've through looking at your work you can see even texture wise mm. you, you've added more texture to your work even coloring i've noticed from the start there was a lot more because you added color now and you recent mm. one but it's not more vibrancy even the first yeah. post yeah. and now it's gone more black and white but yeah. then i feel like you have more detail i feel like even in a black and white picture mm. you can tell a lot more with someone's characteristics how they are through black and white so do you prefer using color or going towards a black and white style yeah it's sort of it like i think it's the right thing for the right kind of work in some ways like i think sometimes like with with color it can almost be like a kind of a distraction in some aspects maybe i'm not sure because i mean it's it's oh my gosh you sound like my dad he literally he said that i showed him your work yeah. and he went yeah i think that work he goes it's a huge distraction if you just had color right all around it goes it's Perfect how he's done it. Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> that's my Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad he, you know, he, he sees it like that because, yeah, it's, 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 you know, I mean, it's, it's also, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not very, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm the best at using color either, to be fair. So it's kind of a convenience too in, in a lot of aspects. I mean, almost can, intimidated. I mean, by you it. can correct me if I'm wrong. Was it Ricky Gervais one? He did the one. So it looked very, his face looks oh, so yeah, similar. That was, that was really weird. Yeah. Now, yeah. I yeah. thought the color was incredible on that. The way you merged, yeah. merged all oh, it. And was, was it? That was ages ago. That yeah. was. It was, was some, that part of a uni piece? That was just, it was just terrible work, man. That was just me like experimenting with like portraits. I, I look back, I mean, it's fun to upload and look at, but it, yeah, it was, <laughs> to be fair, I kind of missed doing stuff like that. Cause I remembered like, 
again, that was like a good example of just me not taking things as seriously. And it so was, was just that more... digital or was it, paint? did you paint all that? Yeah, was, you... yeah just painted. And, how, yeah, can you, yeah. how can you look at that and go, it wasn't any good? <laughs> I looked at that and I thought, that is amazing. <laughs> Maybe I've just got a shit eye. <laughs> I thought, that is incredible. And I knew, and I knew the fact I knew straight away who it was, mm. even though you had everything, everything else going on above his head as well. Yeah, I still yeah. knew who the person was behind yeah, it. yeah. I'm not sure what my brain was at when I did that. I don't even like it. Just makes no sense. It's Why just, wicked you base? I have no idea. That's what, Honestly, that's that's what was. I mean, I think I saw the photo of it and I was like, God, he looks really angry in that. And I mean, it's on a few golden globes. Stuck with me for some reason. Yeah, well, it's show, like you know, yeah. a few feathers. He's you know, and yeah. pissed off a few people. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so maybe he's a good one to I do. Mean, I'm not like I mean I, I I like you know it's not like I'm a huge fucking. <laughs> You know, you know, yeah, but yeah, he's, you know, he's all right. Well, you but, caught my attention with it, so that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a but, good thing. Yeah, I think it was just more like I was just trying to try my hand at like doing yeah. portraits and stuff, and it was one of the more earlier ones. But yeah, that was, it was fun to do stuff like that. That was like, yeah, like I think it was in my second year or something like that. You also did a huge so one, was it suppressed self? I could be wrong. Or did you, did you, because I know you don't like titling stuff, mm. but um, you did a whole, literally, it's probably as big as this one here. And you had about, was it four or five pieces mm. part of your university? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that was my degree show. Yeah, that was yeah, it, yeah. yeah. So what was yeah. that like? What was that like? Build The build yeah. up to it and <laughs> then having, like on the day, having to deliver and make sure yeah. it was prepped. No, it was, it was really like, it was, it was really fun to do, I think, in a lot of ways. Very stressful, obviously, mm. but like seeing it all kind of completed, it, it became really rewarding. It was, it was a lot of like, I don't know, it was kind of a ongoing thing i was sort of obsessed with the idea of the split self or whatever the sort of you know the sort of uh i guess the the arguments you have in your own head sort of being contained in the single body that was sort of kind of my idea with it i guess uh i just wanted to create something that sort of established that kind of conflict yeah. you have um but, that one isn't there where it looks like he's morphing out of his own body but he's in between yeah, yeah, two yeah, minds yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to have that. yeah, there's, yeah. There's just a lot of that sort of stuff i mean it still kind of exists now like a lot of my my work it there's always sort of I, I like to play around with like the sort of kinesthetics of like the human body and you know adding maybe an extra limb there and there yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. like uh you know and and it, it's 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 about the sort of distortion i guess of it that i'm, yeah. I'm i've been obsessed with you were a fan of horror then yeah kind of yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, is there anyone that because this reminds me as well uh, a lot of i think i oh, was it edford munch the scream 1893 and then that went on that was gonna because that was another thing about art that was like one of the main ones like yeah everyone um, cause scream a lot of because it art imitates life life imitates art mm. and a lot of times art kind of leads the way in how then other people are influenced and take it on so have you ever watched a film and that's kind of helped you sway between okay this actually i can add that incorporate into that into my art yeah yeah absolutely that's like good. uh fucking uh one of my yeah so one of my favorite artists of all time is uh, Geiger. And um, again, he's an airbrush artist. And, you know, he's the guy who designed the xenomorphs in Alien. Oh, and wow. the whole concept, just the whole biomechanical thing, that was all like from him. Really. That used to scare the shit out of me when I was yeah, a kid. <laughs> there, was, there was a one yeah. scene, this guy got ripped, I think he got ripped apart. And I think he was on, I don't know if he was a robot or an alien. It was just a stringy stringiness to him. And every time I used to break an arm, bread, oh it used God. to freak <laughs> it me just out. It sticks with you, doesn't oh, it? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if maybe your art would maybe have that impact on people <laughs> in, a, in a triggering, triggering that way. That one but... seems to, with the, um, so you can't oh, really see it, but the, yes. it's the, the, the loads, you know, the, the tryptophobia kind of thing. Do you have that? Do you, do you ever feel Not that? Not really. And like, if I can sort of like, I, I can understand it. Yeah. But I don't, I wouldn't say, yeah, it, it would be you don't like a know. thing where I can look at, basically. That's, that is so cool, though. Like, I can respect the pho the phobia, but, <laughs> but I definitely don't have it, I guess. It is a thing. So I remember being in youth work and a lot of the young people yeah. would freak out. So um, <laughs> where do you see the future for your work? Are you looking ahead or do you just stay in the moment? Yeah, I, I very much like to do it sort of like one day at a time. I mean, yeah. I, I, I sort of have a general yeah. goal, but I try not, I don't know, it's, 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 I'm, I'm like a wreck, man. Like it just stresses myself out. Over, <laughs> Plus, over... it might ruin. It might wreck your whole flow if you ended yeah. up putting too much pressure on yeah. yourself. You want... Especially like this year, it's so fucking chaotic. Anything could fucking happen at any point. Literally. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, well, like... we leave this uh, interview and be like, oh, we're on lockdown. What? Yeah, and that's <laughs> it. Yeah, and we both have COVID, and that's <laughs> it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Dude, time. I don't know, man. It's it's it's. So yeah, I do try to kind of take it like as I as I go. Um, and so far, you know, that's 
I, I don't know if it's been working for me or what, but I just know I'm I'm happier doing it. Yeah. You know, and right now I sort of value that more than anything else, you know. And you've you also had an exhibition with the art asylum as well. So how did that differ from university and being able to do it within yeah, like I've, I've had work in there and it's, it's, I, I, I prefer it so much more to be honest. Like, I mean, I, I, I don't want to like shit on the uni too much, but it's, it's like a, it's very confined, isn't it? You feel like you're a bit more. It's an institution. It's basically a yeah. business too. You know what I mean? And it's fucking, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to, yeah. Anyways, yeah. We're using you now. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. yeah, but it, it's got, it's, it's, you know, it wasn't, it, I, I don't think it was the right thing, the right place for me in a lot of ways. I don't necessarily know if it's just, the institution and our education in general, but um, yeah, with asylum, it's a lot more easy, I think, and it feels so much less restrictive and it's more of a, it does feel like it's way more of a community and a collective mm -hmm. as opposed to sort of yeah. weird robotic thing where you go in every day, you listen to people, you come back home, you're supposed to think about it, you come back in, you make your adjustments. It's like, well, an artist not supposed to have this whole schedule, it's supposed to be your own self-expression without like having these restrictions of this is what you need to do. I mean, without... I, I prefer that, but I mean, yeah. some people probably love that stuff. I mean, you know, it's funny but... because there is a huge like, controversy between the education side when it comes to artists, because yeah. I feel like it can stem their growth in a sense, while, rather than going off on their own. Mm. Do you know anything? But I guess like you said, it depends on yeah, yeah, the yeah. individual really yeah, yeah. in that sense. I think so. It, it, it really does. Cause I mean, like, again, like, I could be saying like a whole load of nonsense, like to, to, to <laughs> somebody no, else. You know opposite, I mean? like, yeah. someone can relate to Maybe. you. And be like, yeah, oh, it's yeah. nice hearing somebody else yeah. say that. Even with the mental health side of this, mm. it's nice finally seeing someone. You know, not afraid to put it out there. Yeah, man. And f and because let's be honest, some people will be like, oh, scared scares me at first, <laughs> and then when you look closer and deeper, you feel like, okay, it's actually conveying emotions that I felt like sometimes I wanted to bloody scream or. Mm. You know? I mean, it, it, again, yeah, it's, it's, it's like a, a lot of things and, you know, people have different interpretations and I'm always like, just really flattered that like, if it, if it gets some sort of response, yeah. that's somewhat positive or maybe I don't even know if it brings any closure or not. I have yeah. no idea. You know, I wouldn't be able to sort of answer that <laughs> because it's, you know, different, different well, people I, are going to see different so. things. I yeah, hope yeah. it is. But yeah, I do think it's, it's good to like confront whatever you're going through, however you can, like, you know, whether it means you're painting or you're making music or you're writing or you're just, you know. Do you say this is therapy for you then? In some ways, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, no, in a lot of ways, actually. Yeah, like, I, 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 I need to do this or I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so really, uh, it's, well, not that it's saved you because it's your own unique talent that you have, gift mm. that you have. So you, your own self has saved you, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. How to, because I, like that. I don't know. Because if, if you yeah. couldn't, if you couldn't, let's be honest, you could draw a stick man. You know, you know, like me, I can only draw sick men. I would, that wouldn't save me. <laughs> but you can produce beautiful pieces like this, which I think is incredible. But yeah, I think that, again, it's nice even someone be open to saying that it is therapy for people. But have you, what advice would you give to someone that's starting out? Because have you ever made a mistake, maybe drawing a piece or an exhibition that you could give advice to someone? Hmm. Um, it's like difficult because like, I don't know what I'm doing a lot of the time. Do you know what I mean? So I think that's great. So. I almost feel like I almost feel like like what I like don't want to incriminate myself here. I think <laughs> maybe like I don't know. I, I almost think like maybe when you're sort of working with other people, you're sort of doing an exhibition or even if yeah. you're going to uni or something like that. Yeah, there's like a lot of pressure on yourself to sort of um gel with whoever the fuck is maybe yeah. your 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 whoever you're working on the basically. Mm -hmm. There's always a hierarchy, yeah. you know what I mean? Whether it's your, your lecturer or your curator or whoever runs mm -hmm. the exhibition that you're making work in. There's always yeah. that kind of pressure you put on yourself. And, you know, you know, work with people, obviously, but I also think, you know, you, you do kind of have to, you, you'll know when some things aren't worth doing or pursuing, yeah. you know what I mean? Like there have been loads of times where like, I've just said yes to things. And just for the sake of getting an exhibition or just for the sake of this, or even if it's just a commission yeah. and later I'm just hating the entire fucking process of it and it just fucking kills you. You know what I mean? It's, you know, I, I'm sure everybody gets yeah. it with, with all sorts of things, but um, yeah, I think maybe just trying to be sort of authentic to yourself when you're working. I don't know if that's 
good advice or not. <laughs> like, I think or if it's even part advice. Of saying, no, but it's because the part of going, <laughs> if you keep saying yes, people are just taking and taking. Yeah, yeah. And then it becomes to the point where you feel empty because you're just giving so much to other people. Yeah, yeah. But actually, are you, are you really happy doing what the other person's asking you to do? So sometimes it's more, you have more power saying no. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's okay to stop, basically. Yeah. I think that's one thing I wish, like, I, I did, like, just sort of telling myself that it's all right to stop. You're not a failure. Yeah. You're not like a piece of shit. You know, it's, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's okay it's to right. regroup. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, and, and, and yeah. that's kind of, that's kind of it really. Cause yeah, you, you don't want to like let people down obviously. And you do want to sort of, uh, I guess with, with anything, you know what I mean? You want to be able to sort of fulfill whatever requirements you have to do. But yeah, it can be fucking exhausting. I mean, it can be, <laughs> <laughs> it can be a lot, you know? So yeah, like, I guess like, yeah, I guess that would be it, really. Just sort of knowing that it's yeah. okay to stop sometimes. That's good. No, that's perfect yeah. advice. So that's great. No, <laughs> it sure. is. It is for any, any <laughs> ages or ages. There's just going to be a whole, like, <laughs> list of these dropouts now. <laughs> just now. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, yeah. I'm doing it wrong the whole time. No, that's good. So um, <laughs> are you working on any pieces or this your recent piece that you've yeah, worked on then? Yeah, this is kind of more of a... So I, I've, I've got a... Um, uh, I'm part of this uh, exhibition in the Waltz Gallery on the 24th to the 17th of January, I believe. I remember that. 24th to the 27th, is Se- it? 17th, pretty sure. I'm not sure what's going to go on with the- January. Is so that 2021? January? Oh, Jesus, it is. Yeah, 2021. Where is it? <laughs> 2020 now. 2020. <laughs> Jesus, man. Yeah. That's mental. Yeah, so it's going to go on for a bit. But yeah, so I was I was just doing work for that and I've, I've finished like my series of paintings for it. So this is more of like a little break. Between. That's good. So it's a couple of months prior to, is that usually how it goes or what? The, uh, creating uh, the pieces before the ex, well, yeah, like, yeah, project I normally, or Yeah, yeah, I, I like to give myself as much time as possible. Yeah. <laughs> well, make sure that you check that out. So hopefully there'll be no restrictions by then. And Fingers we've, got, we've got a vaccine because yeah. what the hell have they been doing? You never know, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Oh man, thanks. And I, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let's. <laughs> I have, yeah, it's been awesome. I'm happy to be here, man. This and I, good. I, yeah. I'm so I'm so happy that this is my first out on location because it looks amazing. Honest, yeah. Honestly, the, <laughs> the artwork is incredible. I don't want to block this one, but you know, yeah. Thank you so much. Sorry, sorry. Glad to be a part. <laughs>